Hi, so in this video of geometrical progression, we are going to learn about geometrical means. So first we will learn what is the geometrical mean of any two given terms. And in next video, we are going to generalize the concept of geometrical mean and we will find a formula to insert any number of geometrical means between any two given numbers, right? So first let's read the definition of geometrical mean. The definition says, when three quantities are in geometric progression, then the term in the middle is called geometrical mean of other two terms. So what does it mean? Suppose if we have three terms like A, B and C, and if these three terms are in geometrical progression, then this B is called the geometrical mean, right? And if these three are in geometrical progression, then what is the necessary condition? If these three are in geometrical progression, then there will be a common factor R between them, right? B will be equal to R times A, right? And the C will be equal to R times B, isn't it? This is what the definition of geometrical progression was. The definition was, if in a pattern terms increase or decrease by a common factor R, then the pattern is called in geometrical progression, right? So if A multiplied by R is B and B multiplied by R gives you C, then these three numbers will be called in geometrical progression, right? And this B will be called the geometrical mean of A and C, right? So what we have got here? Here we have got two equations. This is equation number one and this is equation number two. And from here, if I do equation number one by equation number two, we will get B by C is equal to AR by BR, right? This R and R will get cancelled and if we cross multiply over here, we will get B multiplied by B, that is B square is equal to AC. Or from here we can write B is equal to square root of AC. Yes? And what is this B? This B is actually the geometrical mean of AC, right? So if you have to find the geometrical mean of any two given terms, we usually call it as G and that will be the square root of their product, right? So if you have to find the geometrical mean of A and C, the geometrical mean usually denoted as capital G and it will be the square root of A multiplied by C or the product of A and C, right? So this is the formula to find the geometrical mean. And now let's take a few examples in which we will find the geometrical mean between two terms, right? So let me erase this. Let me keep the definition and erase everything else. So if we are given two numbers like one and 9 and we are supposed to find the geometrical mean of 1 and 9. What will it be? We have the formula. The formula was G, that is the geometrical mean, is the square root of the product of those two terms, right? So if we want to find the geometrical mean of 1 and 9, it will be square root of 1 multiplied by 9, that is square root of 9. So the geometrical mean will be plus minus 3, right? So if we are given two terms like 1 and 9, there can be two geometrical means. One will be plus 3 and another will be minus 3. So let's see if this gives us a geometrical progression or not. If I put plus 3, then the series will become 1, 3 and 9, right? And if I take the solution as minus 3, the series will become 1, minus 3 and 9, right? And do we have A and R over here? Here A is equal to 1, right? 
and what about r r is actually equal to 3 by 1 or 9 by 3 this will give us 3 and this 3 ones are 3 3 3 is a 9 so in both the cases we are getting r as 3 right and what about the second case in second case if I take first two terms r should be minus 3 by 1 that is equal to minus 3 and in second case or if I do second and third term r should be equal to 9 by minus 3 3 ones are 3 and 3 3 is a 9 this also gives us minus 3 right yes so so in first case we have a is equal to 1 and r in this case is equal to 3 and in second case we have a is equal to 1 but r in this case is minus 3 right so if you have two numbers and you are asked to find the geometrical mean you will always get two geometrical means between any two given numbers one will be positive and another one will be negative as we got in this case we got two geometrical means between 1 and 9 one is plus 3 and another one is minus 3 right and in next video we are going to learn how to insert any number of geometrical means between any two given quantities so bye bye till then